Hey, what's going on? It's Ian Hart here at the Earth Fit Blog, and I'm going to explain to you about the science behind what gets ama amazing results. It allows for massive fat burn. So I'm just going to break down how the body works and how the movements work. So we have single joint exercises. Single joint exercises would be curls, tricep extensions, shoulder raises, leg extensions, leg curls, etc. And we have multi-joint exercises. Those would include push-ups, squats, deadlifts, walking lunges, rows, push-ups. That's just to name a few. There's a few more. Then you have full body multi-joint exercises. Squats to a press, snatches, cleans, lunges, lunge to row. You, there's a combination of things that you can do. So, when we do single joint exercises, it's activating one muscle at a time. There might be synergizer muscles that are included in that group, but when you're activating that one muscle, you're burning minimal calories, it's not affecting your blood, your, the blood in your body or your cardiovascular system, and it's just focusing on that one area. Now, that can get you results, but it takes a lot more time and repetition, and then also diet is a major factor when trying to get results when you do those types of programs. Multi-joint exercises are going to activate larger muscle groups. So just think of this for a second. Your bicep is a small muscle that you're just activating just like that. When you do a squat to a row, you're activating your muscle, your bicep, but you're also activating your whole back. And your back is the second largest muscle group next to your legs. So if you do a squat to a row, you're activating your legs, your back, and your biceps, along with other small muscle groups and the core in between, everything, all those muscles in between. So you're literally activating your whole body, whereas a single joint exercise, you're activating one. So just think about how that translates into a training program. If you stand around doing a curl, how many calories are you burning? Or if you do a squat to a row, how many calories are you burning? Then, there's a lot of other variables that go into how much weight you use, and then cardio in between, or certain exercises that you can do in between. And it's a whole process that allowing for your hormones and your circulation to allow for fat loss and fat burning. So this just gives you an idea of how single joint exercises versus full body multi-joint exercises Full body multi-joint exercises will give 10 times to 100 times more results than ever just doing single joint exercises. So if you're looking for fat burning and getting the most and out of a training program, then obviously full body multi-joint exercises are going to be the best bang for your buck always and forever. So this is Ian Hart with the EarthFit blog and if you have any questions or comments, Go ahead and leave a comment or question below.